Hi guys, and welcome back to another haul. This one's gonna be on Tuesday morning. So I finally got to go to Tuesday morning after about half a year. My husband took me. Um, but I didn't find practically any of the things that people have been hauling, like the Amy Tangerine embellishments, any of the ephemera. I found all the stamps. But I didn't want to spend $10.99 on the stamps because I only had $80 so I would only be able to get like 7 if I got all the stamps. Like 7 of them and that's it for my money. I want to get the most out of my $80 and my total was actually $79.98 so I only got like 2 pennies left over. But I did find these cute um, vintage stickers for $1.49. And I thought it was a good deal because there's five sheets in here, which normally would be like a dollar a piece anywhere else, at least. So some tags, some border things, and also some sentiments right here and words. I found this for 49 cents. And this is Seven Gypsies. They had a couple of other letters, but I didn't really feel like getting the one that says A is D is for dog because I don't I don't have dogs or anything. But here's this one's pretty like family related. Then I also got these these are like foil stickers for 99 cents it comes with three packets and I really like the borders the frames I mean this one says happy anniversary like the whole the whole thing says happy anniversary and I don't think I'm gonna use these probably a couple and then some sailboats right here I'm probably going to gift most of these, the happy anniversary ones, because I got two more. The same, three for 99 cents. But this one has letters, this one has hearts, and this one says season's greetings, which I will use. But this one, no, actually this one says season's greetings as well. I thought it said anniversary. And I found these bags uh, for $1.99. These are perfect for packaging cards and altered mini composition notebooks and all those things. But I only found this long size. I'm not sure if you can use these for shakers, but if all else fails, you could probably do that. And there's 30 in here. And they had they only had two of these and I kind of wish I had gotten both of them because the dollar ninety nine is pretty, it's pretty good. And they also had a tiny, tiny little one, and I didn't think I would need that for anything. But after I left, I thought I should have gotten it for tiny shaker note cards, like or tags. But I didn't. I did find these um, market tags from Seven Gypsies. There's fifty in this, and to me. That's a pretty good deal, $50 for $1.99. And I wish they had more. I'm planning to make another trip to a different one. Maybe next week or in two weeks. Um, to see what I find there. But this is something that I would get another one of. Just to have more tags. Blank ones. Uh, I also found these. Graphic 45. Uh, I think this is Mother Goose. For $3.99, that's a good deal for a stamp set, especially Graphic 45. And I think I have the Prima journaling cards for the for their bedtime stories. And these match pretty well. 
for any children theme card or anything. Then I found these double sided tape for $1.99. They had a couple more and I wanted to take all of it. But then I'm not sure if it actually is a good deal. Or if I'm paying the same price just for like half the amount. I'm not sure because I've never paid attention to the amount you get. But I did get two and I thought I got one of the wider ones. I thought I had two so at the counter I actually thought I was leaving one behind. But apparently that was my only one so I ended up with no, no, none of the thicker ones. So I just got these two. Then I found these flowers color me crazy and these are $2.99 and it comes with a little bit of bling down here I thought these were a good deal because the flowers are big and you do get a bunch not just like a couple and they had other ones but these ones were white and I didn't want to get all of them because it was $2.99 I don't like paying so much for one item it is a good deal, but I was um, keeping track of how much I was spending, and look how big this is. So, that was a nice find. Oh, wow. So, here are some bottle caps. I had never purchased any bottle caps before, so for $1.99, you get 50 I think that's pretty a pretty good deal. Look how much it is normally. It's $8.99. I wouldn't pay $8.99 or even half of that. They had other colors, but I'm not into the whole zebra print. They did have the zebra print in pink. And they had some red ones as well. But I like this vintage looking brown. And this was the only one I had in that color. I also picked up this Jewelit. Fabric embellishment and adhesive for $1.49. I've never used this before, but I figured it'd be nice because of the because it's like a pen for like gemstones or I'm not sure if it'll work with sequins, but it is a lean, so it has to work with something if not just for regular paper embellishments. And I did find these Studio G stamps. There's six in here for 99 cents. And I picked up all they had. So I got, I think, four. Yep, four of these. So there's like 24 stamps in here, stamp sets. And. I do have a lot of repeated. I think one of these is all repeats and then a couple others, but I can always gift those. And that's that. I also found these bottle cap essentials for $1.49. There is um there's probably about eight or ten in here. Oh, ten pieces. Crystal gems. I thought these were nice for $1.49. Then also got this. Sorry about that. Um, what is this? Well, yarn. <laughs> I didn't I didn't have any. I think I only have like a brown one. And I'm, I wanna make some um, I want to make some dream catchers with the rings that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and also, I want to start teaching myself how to crochet for embellishments only. But I forgot to look at the um, those sticks that you need. I did see them, but I, I totally forgot to keep that in mind and purchase them. Um, I also got oh, I got these metal beads from Blue Moon 
and there is these were $4.99 but there's three packages in here I have a story to go with as we all know Hancock Fabrics is closing and there's literally one right across the street from me that I've only been to three times now I went the first time when I was barely dating my husband about four years ago, probably more, like four and a half. And I just had never gone in there and I went and everything looked so expensive. I just didn't go back until I actually started crafting more than two years later when I was planning my, my son's first birthday. 